So, Hard Case is back. The fake Sagan Hard Case owns you train. Well, I guess I'll succumb to uh, taking part in his self-promotion because I want to comment on it. Um, when I first got on YouTube and saw the atheist community, I, you know, like Bubba McMack was saying about how much more cohesive or some synonym of that it used to be. And that's what bothered me immediately when I saw it. I saw this is a cliquish uh, dogma group here. You know, and I tested them with various scientific uh, information, and they react to that the same way they react to religion. They react to anything they don't know. Uh, it's dogma. I could see that, boom, instantly. Very simple, easy. And I didn't make a huge deal of it because it's like, we can't even have a, an atheist president that admits he's atheist in this country. It's part of society, sometimes nuts that, you know, they're, they're messed up, but, you know, they're messed up because of reasons that include having, you know, religion jammed down their throat. So they have a weird reaction. But still, it bothered me. Now, Hard Case, I liked because he was the only one that was criticizing the amazing atheist, you know. Um... And he had this uh, working class um, philosopher attitude. You know, he talked, he was working in construction and he liked that because it was with his body and blah, blah, blah. And he, and he didn't, wasn't dating because, you know, the dating scene was so screwed up and he saw how women like assholes and then he'd become the biggest asshole. And so people would try to nail him on that like and it was like he had really good answers and handlings like no this is where I am in my life then later on he gets a girlfriend and he's trying to joke on someone for the but you have no girlfriend I mean it, it turned out it was all just about this idea of his poning it's like he's probably not that good at Halo or something so he does this kind of and it pisses me off. Why? Because, yeah, it could have its own little side thing, but no, we're going to be, you know, it's it's now it's going to be a fist fight challenge against Coughlin. And it's it just, it's, it's in this area of talking about something, religion, and other philosophical and political vlogging by someone who insists that this is just about the the poning and, and and you could beat somebody up in real life if you pwn them then that's the same thing and oh, it's the worst side you know and I can do the kind of conversation that I take part in online with a lot of noise it, it even takes advantage of that chaos it's a jungle those are the jungle noises but this one comes right up into the middle and it bugs me a sludge of just boxing challenges, girlfriend challenges, you know, trailer park drama, basically. So, well, not the fuck him back. And here's how the, he goes on for an extended period of, well, I just, it just happened to come back. There's no reason. By the way, I'm doing a reality show. Yeah, it has nothing to do with that and all these other uploads going on. Oh, nothing to do with that. No, of course not. You are the most transparent, weak, low watt, not gonna get shit out of this. Making less, doing a less healthy thing and worse for society than when you were building houses. Piece of shit, bullshit, nonsense. Corruption of honest discussion among honest people that are real human beings. And you're going to come back and do the pwnage thing. Well, fuck you. I hope a lot of people throw the wrench in your works. You're Brett King and Hellion Exciter's uh, love child, right? And you're a spectacle. I, I subscribed. I'm not one to say, don't subscribe. Try to prevent. I'm not a boycotter. Go for it. Everybody, come collect around hard case. And let's make sure that he is given the respect he deserves.